Hello and welcome to this third part of the video. My name is Samuel Vidal and today we are going to continue to edit this character, the Blue Hair Robotica. So let's get started. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is select the armature. Go to this setting here, object data property. Um, I go to the report display here and set this to stick from octahedral stick okay and in front okay <clears throat> now I'm gonna go to post mode here and I'm going to press alt R It takes a while because if you can see I have the subdivision surface um, on with um, I should have um, had it off. We'll fix that in a minute. I just select the body here and there. Turn it off for a moment. <clears throat> okay. I guess this is um, like a default position from the character creator 3. Okay. So, select her body and tap. Okay, before I do that, let me just simply um, hide the hair. Okay. And I'm going to start selecting some faces here to kind of do the suit around her. Okay. So let me see. Let me see. How do I do this? Okay. Let me see if I select this faces here. Let me see how that. Nah. Wait, hold on. No, actually, I didn't want to select that one thing, this one, no? Yeah, that might work. But you see, every time I, I go with the Shift-Alt and, and right-click, see? How it selects everything. But there's another way around that is selecting one. And then, you know, here, Control, right-click, see? Control, right-click. Control right click. Control right click. Now is that maybe I should go a little bit more here, like select this one instead. Let me see. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that that should should be good there. Okay, now that we have um, that selected, just gonna go here on her neck. And let me see. Just going to select this area here. Okay. And select here. And select here. Okay. Uh, you see that? See? <laughs> I forgot to press shift <laughs> for this selected area here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just do that real quick here. And then, let me see, right around here, I guess. It's just what I'm going to now, right around here. Yes. <coughs> and right about there. No, not there. Let me see. Over here. And circle select. Okay. 
Okay, and let me see. I want to select this here and this here. Okay. This is where I'm going to start building, you know, like a suit. Okay. So, just going to go here to the materials and apply the green glossy here and press H to hide and now just select one there and press Control L to select everything and press another one here Control L to select everything and I'm going to set that to green okay now bring back everything okay now I'm just going to select again everything green and hide it just simply just select this entire part and then put back the body um, material that I took at the beginning on the first video here okay and now OH to bring everything back Let's see okay and this area here is part of the the body also material so boom so. all right okay now what i am going to do is um i'm going to select some edges here because i want to do like some crease lines here okay and i am going to select a few and then the rest I, I will skip so i don't make this video too long okay so let me see i'll select this one here um, this one let me see if i can go okay that works that one there uh, let me see if I can go okay there right let me see where the other one is it's this one here okay see this edge here and this edge is here Okay, I'm gonna keep selecting more and then you're gonna see the the whole picture because I'm gonna skip right now okay so this is um all the edges I selected here see where I'm gonna put the crease lines in there see if you notice here see okay so I'm going to start by I'm pressing W and then bevel edges here and then I'm going to press 0.15 okay right there and now let me see um just going to press extrude E for extrude and alt S to scale and I'm gonna set that to 0 0.08 or should I say um, alt S negative 0 0.08 see so to go inside see let's make some crease line now there 
Okay. The only thing is this here. See? But we'll see that in a minute. Hold on. Then I'm going to create another material here. I'm just going to put it at this one and make an instance. Uh, okay. And going to apply that one there. And I'm going to do it a little bit more darker. Just a little bit. See? Just that we can notice. See? And now, when we put back the um, subdivision surface, see how that looks? Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. See? Crease lines there. Okay. Okay, now what I need to do. Oh, well, hold on. We just put the subdivision back. As you can see, the render. Okay. See, this is how it looks when we render. But I need to do something. Um, I need to now grab all of this and sharp that, okay? That's what I need to do. Okay. But I only need to select these edges here. Okay. So I may have to do that all over again, so I will skip that, that step, okay? Okay, now that I have everything selected, I'll show you real quick what I did, see? Just simply select those edges here. Let's see, I forgot this one. Okay. With those um, edges selected, what I'm going to do is press N and put this to 1.00. The main crease, increase it to 1.00. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is to short this edges so I don't have to I don't have to put edge edge loop is instead, you know. So now when we come back here and uh, we set the um, subdivision surface back on. It takes a while. See now those edges look sharp. See? That's how they look. Okay. And there's one more thing I need to fix here um, it's just this oops okay yeah I gotta select it and uh, this one here this one here okay and just put back the body skin, those little things. So it doesn't look weird. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is, well, let me close this um, tab here, and I'm going to select everything that's on green and the other green. Okay, everything selected, but I don't want the I want the mask being selected. See, so what I need to do is over here um, scroll with the 
um, the middle button of the mouse and to deselect. Okay. Make sure there's nothing selected there. Okay. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude and then Alt S point one five. Okay. That way, that'll give us some thickness. See on her suit. And again, I will have to select all these edges here to sharp that. So um, I will have to skip that step also because it's too much. Just simply selecting these edges here, okay? Okay, now that we have those edges selected, okay, just gonna press N again and increase the mean crease there to 1.00 okay and subdivision surface okay that looks good guess yep okay Okay, now just gonna do some like like uh, gloves here. Okay, so just gonna let me see. Select these edges here. Okay, let me see. Uh, this hand here, I mean this arm, uh, select, hold on, I have to see which one I select here, make sure, I say I select the wrong one, that's why I wanted to select this one, that one there. Uh, one there, and I think it was this one. Oops. Okay. And make sure that both hands are selected. Same one. Okay, when I select it there, and now that that's selected, just gonna press W and bevel edges. But I'm not gonna go that far, just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to select this edge here. And this edge here, and I'm gonna set this um, transform pivot point to individual origins. Okay, that means when I scale now, see each one individually will scale according to their pivot point. Because if I would have it back here, see, in the medium point, then, you know, this is what happens, see? So, I want them to scale individually by its origin. Okay, so, I just simply want to, let me see, OS, let me see. Okay, let me put that OS.15. Hold on. Hold on. OS.15. Must have pressed something wrong there. Okay. And. 
Okay, let's select it. Let's select these edges here again. And on the arm. Select these edges again. And um, uh, just that to 1.00. And face select. It's just gonna select that one more time. Okay. And we're going to assign that to green. And we're going to hide it. Now, just simply going to select the arms. Control L. See? And we're going to assign that to green. <laughs> and bring back everything. Okay. Just book real quick the subdivision surface. Okay. So we are going to do the same thing here for the leg um, again just going to select this edges here select this edges and just gonna press W bevel edges that's it and actually, while well, it's there, I should take the opportunity to apply that. Um, see, that's what I should have done with the arms. <coughs> and just going to control um, G and Z to move it up. And then I'll S point one five. Okay. And again, just move it there. Move it up. And then that and those edges selected and and increase the um, increase there. Now, let's go to face select. <coughs> and simply going to um, hide his faces. And select this and control L. Okay. And assign that green material. And then bring back O H. Okay. That looks good. Now with this. <coughs> well, let's just apply this. Okay, just going to select this and the buttons here. Just going to delete that. Okay, 
and let us fix this um, minor um, errors here go real quick to sculpt and inflate now we just simply see just gonna fix it real quick see all those imperfections there okay There's more in here. Okay. <coughs> and this shoe is here, see? <coughs> we need to fix that also. Like the toes are coming out. See where? Make sure everything looks fine. Okay, one more thing that I need to do now is um, like select this area here. It's like pretty much like the belt. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to select everything here. Okay, and let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, we can select all this now. Or maybe not. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? Just simply select um, all of this. I think yeah I think and it's gonna set that with um, black glossy here and now I should have also so she looks good like that she also select this ones here also Um, okay now press E to extrude and Alt S 0.15 enter okay and now I'm going to select those um, faces there uh, let me see over here. I need to select this face there also. Set it to black glossy. Let me see. And we are going to select those edges there too. See? <clears throat> I see. What do we got over here? Okay, got everything there, and then M, and increase that. Okay, so now we should put that the uh, serve subdivision surface. Okay. Okay, not bad. 
And one more thing is on this um, glove here. See, just gonna take on the texture here, the opacity. Just gonna take that out, make it, you know, visible. And you see the those grid lines there. This is all the normal map. We're just simply gonna take that out also. See. Okay. So now H to bring everything back. Was safe. Just in case it crashes. Okay. And let's just do a render. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Now, if we were to compare her with the old photo here, real quick, see. A difference now see I didn't I didn't put like this in here and you know the mask here is black and I just did a green you know she looks different now okay so one thing I would like to do before I end this video is um I would like to look for a good pose. So I'm going to append this to the library. Okay. But first I need to um turn off the subdivision surface so I'm able to you know put a pose it doesn't take that much time you know and let me see just select this one here no sorry <laughs> go here to post mode and okay just get the, those poses there this one that I was looking, let me see, um, standing, it's this one, I think it was the standing pose 01, let me see, yeah, this one, okay, but, you know, the good thing about in using poses in, in Blender is that you can combine different poses, you know. And in this case, I would deselect everything and select only the arms here. And the entire hand, you see, arm, the arms and hand. And over here, see the same thing. Without selecting any other bones okay let me see let me see yeah and now I'm going to set that one to this one here the standing zero eight ah see that's the one I like see I combined two poses let's see I make like another one okay and hold on. so um the way she looks oh I forgot to do something here real quick hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. see I'm always forgetting stuff um, <laughs> that that's bad um I wanted to do I'm just simply going to select all the green again and hide it. I just simply, uh oh, we have this and face select and hide it and 
this part of the arm man I, I can't believe I forgot that um just make it black see then bring back everything okay see now this is how she's supposed to look okay sorry about that <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong buttons here um, but what I will do is I will do a render of of this and then put in my Deviant art page. So and I'll, and I'll leave the link on the on the video. Okay. So now I had her there in that view. I'm just gonna press Control Alt Zero to set the camera. And that position and then come down here and set this to 1280 by 1280 okay and just set this back here This one, okay. Simply gonna, gonna push the camera down a little bit. Okay. And now, you see this here? See? <laughs> well, I'm guessing on the rendering, I will fix that. I mean, I, here I'm just not gonna waste the time, but on the rendering, it's gonna be fixed, okay? Um, Okay, let's see how that looks now. Okay, oops, I forgot the most important thing. <laughs> put that, put back the subdivision surface. See how long it takes. <laughs> there you go. And one more thing is this light here we're gonna fix it to a sunlight and set that to 0.5 no not 0.5 um, sorry so um, 5.0 and alt r to straighten the light and then just simply see now let's see it's just gonna rotate this light here and i think um 5.0 is too much so we can lower to 3.0 yeah that, that's much better okay so here we have it this is it the blue hair robotica okay okay and so i hope you have enjoyed this third part video and if you did please um hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching <laughs>